Hey everyone, my name is Joe Elliott and I'm excited to release Tempo 2.7 uh, just this week and we have an exciting set of new TraceQL features uh, as well as a lot of performance improvements, memory improvements, uh, a lot of operational improvements, so I really think it's a very strong uh, Tempo release. So Tempo 2.7, let's get into some of the new TraceQL features um, right now. So first of all, we're gonna talk about a new scope. Uh, when I say scope, we're talking about uh, if you've typed a lot of TraceQL, you'll know like resource scope, or if you're familiar with hotel observability, open telemetry. There's also a span scope, so I can query for attributes on my spans, on my resource. And the new one we added is called uh, instrumentation. So instrumentation is a scope in the open telemetry specification that uh, contains information about your like instrumentation. It's actually kind of vague and it seems to be uh, kind of particular to different applications as well as the libraries they use. So I have a link to the um, to the documents here and the documents kind of get into this. I recommend reading through this, but it's basically like any kind of logically connected section of your code. And let's look at some actual real world examples because just kind of reading through this probably is not gonna give you a strong idea. But uh, everything we're about to look at is the OpenTelemetry um, demo. So their actual demo code. So we should presume that these values are pretty well set, right? Uh, presumably these are somewhat correct. <laughs> Um, so if I go in here and look at instrumentation name and do my autocomplete, this is again all from the OpenTelemetry demo, I'm seeing a lot of service names. So I presume, you know, this instrumentation scope is the entire service, but here, you know, kind of looking around, I see some library names. SystemNet HTTP is a .NET library. Um, and we can see the names of some other ones. I see like a gRPC here, um, some other kind of examples as I go down through. Sinatra, not sure what that is. I think uh, some folks know, I'm sure. But a, a lot of these different libraries are just different like sections of your code, right? So let's kind of get focused on one here. Um, if I look at uh, gRPC and do a query, I can see a, a handful of different services that are, are performing gRPC calls. So in this case, I'm looking for an instrumentation scope, a section of this code. Uh, the actual service is called front end, I can see. Um, and then if I look down here in Grafana, I'm looking at the actual uh, trace itself, right? I can see that uh, the instrumentation name is instrumentation gRPC with a version here as well. So this is a really good way to look for applications that are using specific libraries or maybe specific uh, uh, versions of OpenTelemetry. Uh, and we can use this maybe more at an operator level than a user level. I'd actually be really interested in seeing where people use this. Uh, a query that occurred to me that would be kind of fun is uh, by resource service name. So I'm gonna take that original uh, query there. I'm gonna look for spans where the instrumentation name is this gRPC library. And let's rate by the service name. And this is gonna quickly show us what applications are using this gRPC library. So this could be really cool. Maybe it's a way as an operator, you can find applications in your, you know, out in your uh, infrastructure that are using different libraries. Maybe they're on an outdated one and you're looking for, to move them forward. Maybe you could use this to find people who are using Kafka or people who are using you know, system net HTTP or whatever. So it gives us some nice flexibility there. I'll also point out uh, that we have exemplar support. This will be in Grafana 11.5. So not out just yet, but it's coming very soon. Uh, but we have exemplar support in Tempo. In 2.7, we fixed some bugs. Uh, and it was actually in 2.6. In 2.7, we fixed some bugs. And then in Grafana 11.5, we have actual support uh, in the UI. So I did my uh, TraceQL query there. Um, I can see that I have my uh, exemplar little examples here, and I can jump to the traces that were aggregated to create this metric. It gives me a really clean way to immediately jump in and see some of the traces that you know were aggregated to create this metric. So I think that's a really awesome feature uh, that people are going to enjoy. So instrumentation scope is our new scope and it's gonna allow you to ask new questions of your traces uh, at this kind of like uh, library kind of level, like what applications are using what libraries in your in your infrastructure. Uh, the, other, uh, the other set of functions we added to TraceQL are average over time. So average over time is going to take a number of some sort. I'm gonna put a little placeholder here. That's not real TraceQL. So we have average over time, uh, we have min over time, min, 
and we have max over time. So three new metrics functions, average, min, and max over time. And in this, uh, in the field here, the parameter that's expected is any number basically that it can average to. So we're gonna do duration. That kind of makes a lot of sense, right? This is gonna be give me my maximum span duration over time uh, for the uh, for the specified spans here. So I took this or this query instrumentation name is this grpc server or library. I then pipe that to max over time and I'll ask for duration. And I think duration is one that's gonna probably be most commonly used and make the most sense. I'm probably looking for like, what's my average uh, call times? What's my minimum call times? What's my max call times, you know? So min, average, and max are the three new TraceQL functions, metrics functions we've added. I mean, I'll point out, and I think this is one of the fun parts of TraceQL, uh, is that uh, because this function takes any number, Duration is going to make a lot of sense, but we can do kind of fun things, maybe silly things, depending on how you look at it. Like we could ask for the average status code. This is kind of a silly thing. I don't expect a whole lot of people to do a query like this, but it's possible uh, because TraceQL is a very flexible language. Uh, minimum overtime status code, maximum overtime status code. So definitely some fun kind of uh, queries there. Uh, again, just pointing out the flexibility of language. Any number is going to go into these metrics functions. So TraceQL, we added the new instrumentation scope, as well as three new metrics functions, average over time, min over time, max over time. Also very excited to have a, a nice set of bug fixes to exemplars in 2.7, along with support in Grafana 11.5. So you can start you know, writing queries in your front end, in your TraceQL Explorer, uh, and immediately jumping over to those traces uh, that were used to create that metric. All right. Uh, hope you all are having fun with Tempo 2.7. Expect some performance improvements as well as resource features improvements and the features we talked about today. Uh, take care, everybody. <laughs>